Welcome to another episode of Stu's Logistics. This is our little intro we're trying to work on. Yeah. Say hey, what's up? Yeah, let it up. We all looking all clean tonight. That truck looking good tonight, bro. Hey, but uh, we gonna get on with the episode and what we gonna talk about. Stay tuned. Well guys, this is the end. I've been let go. Can't work with these guys no more. You gotta turn in the truck and everything. You never guess the reason why. The reason why is because I run the way the law say I need to run. And I can still get in 3,000 miles or so like that there, if they give it to me. But I don't run the way they want me to run, and they want me to run illegally. If I'm sleepy, they want me to keep running. But doing that, I can end up having an accident killing somebody. Or myself, somebody else. When I had my son ride with me, I could have killed him. You know, or run over my miles and they try to press you to run personal drive time and all of that stuff when you're loaded and you know, you ain't supposed to be doing that. So I delivered a load on Sunday right here in Baldwin, Florida. That's like 30 miles away from my house. Right. I get a call on Monday morning out while I'm in the DMV from Al. And Al is like, hey man, give me a call. So I said, all right, cool, I give you a call. I give him a call. And he said, how you doing, brother? What's going on? You know, it's the same, same conversation we always have. And the next thing after he said that was, hey man, I gotta let you go. We gotta part ways. It's time for us to part ways. And I'm like, oh. What's going on? <laughs> he said, man, you a good driver. You a good driver, you'll be successful. A, B, C, X, Y, Z, all the other bull job, man. But I gotta let you go. I said, well, if I'm a good driver, why you let me go? Well, them guys, they don't want you riding for them because you do what you're supposed to do. You do it right. They and uh, there's no room for somebody who do the right stuff in that company, right? So y'all to see the intro. Y'all to see y'all don't see pictures of my truck. So it ain't Stu's Logistics because I'm Stu's Logistics. So obviously the other number. Or a name on the side of the truck. That's what you got to worry about. That's who I'm talking about. Them guys down. So, with the exception of that, hey, Stu just ain't driving no trucks no more. No time soon. It's all good. They try to keep you down. See you starting to succeed, and all this other stuff. And here comes whole bunch of mumbo jumbo coming in coming your way and now you can't do this you can't do that well it is what it is I'm done with this so I don't know if y'all gonna see me driving a truck anytime soon again but for right now that's it for all of you guys who did support me, who do support me and continue to support me, I appreciate y'all. I appreciate the few comments that I did get. You know what I'm saying? I 
appreciate the likes that I get, that I did get, and everything. But that's it. I guess I'm out of business because they don't want to do business with somebody who do the business the right way. That's one thing the military always taught me. If you do it right, you ain't got to worry about nothing. <laughs> Sometimes I say that's a bunch of horse boo-boo because I'm doing it right and I still lost. <laughs> Shoot, I did it right while I was in the military and I lost with them too. I got, got put out because I ain't get promoted. But that's neither here nor there. So, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Y'all had y'all self a good one. I'm signing out. Last time I'm hooking up to the trailer. Last time y'all gonna see that truck with my name on the side of it. It's all good though. Like I said, Ain't gonna keep me down. You hear that? Y'all ain't gonna keep me down. But it's funny that, you know, I ain't never heard of this nonsense about you too good for us. Your goals don't line up with what we can give you. So we gotta let you go. You're too good to be with us. Never heard a company turn down somebody that's a good worker. And I'm pretty sure it happens out there. But I ain't never heard of it until Monday. It's Wednesday now. And ain't none of them man enough to call me. I answer the phone when I'm trying to talk to him. And then I'm mad enough to do that. So, to that I say, yeah, I say what Rick Ross said. Elf. Every last one of them. Y'all have y'all self a good one.